Bakelite is probably one of the first plastics to ever be mass produced. The technology for production of the Bakelite has been founded by Leo Hendrik Bakeland, from which comes the plastic's name. In this video I am going to synthesize it, and wish me luck since it's my first organic synthesis and every time I had to deal with anything organic in this video, I've had a feeling that I will die an hour later. Anyway, there are two ways of making bake light, and it depends on the catalyst that was used in the synthesis. If you want some crude bake light, you go with the acid catalyst, for example hydrochloric acid, and if you want the resol, you go with a basic catalyst like sodium hydroxide. I decided to go with the acid catalyst since it's a lot easier to make and I didn't want to have a headache removing the resol from the beaker. For the synthesis I'll be using 11 grams of 38% formaldehyde, around 20 ml of glacial acetic acid, some hydrochloric acid and 7.5 grams of phenol which was the weight of camera. After weighing the substances I add the formaldehyde and phenol to the flask. After the phenol has dissolved I pour in the glacial acetic acid. After I'm done I transfer some of the solution into a beaker and I begin the polymerization by adding hydrochloric acid. As you can see, after some time the solution turns into a white color, which means that the bakelite is forming. And I heard that it can sometimes explode, and I was very thankful to the bakelite that I wasn't stabbed in the throat by some glass shrapnel. For around 30 minutes later, and me being alive, the polymerization has been completed. As you can see, I have this really cool plastic, which was made from a toxic liquid and a toxic white powder. I love the organic chemistry. Anyway, I play with it some time, and after weighing it, I get a yield of... I don't know how to calculate yields because I am not a nerd, per se, and it goes into a bag for safekeeping. Thanks for watching everyone, remember to like and subscribe to Chemically Insane, as there will be more synthesis coming, and remember that if I suddenly stop recording, that would either mean that I got alive, or I just gassed myself to death, because my respirator stopped working. So subscribe! <laughs> Do you know you say